Today's story is called Wombat Stew. It's written by Marsha Vaughan and illustrated by Pamela Lofts. One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. And decided to make... Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What's all that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud? Dingo laughed. What a good idea! Right out, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the bubbly billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Welching out from the shade of iron barks came Amy. She arched her neck gracefully over the brew. Oh no, Dingo, she fluttered. What have you got here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will do the trick. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Right out, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Amy dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbly billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Crunchy, munchy, for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old Blue Tongue, the lizard, came slivering of his sun soaked stone. Silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be a wombat stew. Stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Right out in they go. So a lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flips them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up 
through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quails. Now I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me. For a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Right out, in they go. So he kidna, dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever Dingo stirred and stirred all the while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look who, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to Koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licking his whiskers. Right out, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Ha! cried Jingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? that? asked the animals. That fat wombat! Wait! Stop! Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't, haven't tasted, tasted it. it. Right, oh, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of the stew. He howled. You four tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush, never to again sing. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. And that's the end of the story.